Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a long time, but I have an empties video for you. This is long awaited. This is a Bath and Body Works product empties um, video. And as you can see, like the bag that I have is overflowing. So um, I'm hoping to get through this quickly. I'll start out with um, some candles. I was going to do just a candle video, but whatever. I got, I'm just going to do it all. So hopefully... Like I always say, hopefully this video is not too long. Um, let's start out with a candle I just finished. It is Applewood Bonfire. And um, it wasn't a strong scent. I actually really liked it. It smelled like apples, wood, and bonfire. So, I mean, it was it, it was a nice scent. I love this, the scent of bonfire. And this was very, like, rustic and cabin feeling. And, yeah, it just reminded me of a fire at a cabin. And I, I, I did really like it. Um, I don't know if I would purchase it again maybe if it was on sale just because it wasn't a very strong scent um, and I usually like strong scents but um, it burned pretty well I let it burn overnight and let it I mean I fell asleep with it um, burning because I knew it was almost gone but um, so I just finished that I finished a vanilla pumpkin marshmallow candle which I loved and if I can get my hands on another one of these I will at the semi-annual sale that's going on right now I will buy another one because it did smell really good. Um, I'm trying to think of something that it smelled kind of like if you couldn't get something like this because I think it's kind of hard to find. It was a popular one. I know you can buy it online, but if you don't want to buy it online and you're looking in store, maybe pumpkin cupcake would be a good one. It did have like these label, like sticker label things that kind of like peeled and melted off. But I mean, I guess I don't really care because it's not something that I'm really presenting to people. So it didn't really bother me very much, but um, it burned pretty well all the way to the bottom. And it smelled like vanilla and marshmallow and like um, gingerbread kind of. So I don't really I don't really know like what pumpkin I guess would smell like to me. It smells like gingerbread and like pumpkin pie, you know that just whole scent. There was a slight scent of that with like vanilla and marshmallow. I did really like it. I was a fan. I uh, burned up a mason jar. Of the French lavender, it didn't smell like anything, burned terribly. You can see it like got black and whatever. I'm not really too big of a fan of the mason jars, but that one didn't smell very strongly. I wouldn't buy it again. Um, I just tried it out and whatever. Uh, <clears throat> I used up a lemon meringue cheer soap. I don't know if you can see that if the light is reflecting off of it. This smelled really good. I think they still have this like in new packaging in the stores, but I got this last winter at the semi-annual sale, and I did really like it. It smelled like lemon meringue. I love this scent of lemon, so that was... A good one for me. I also used up this little um, pomegranate lemon cream from that one line that they came out with. Hang on one second. I had to yell at my cat because he's like digging at the door trying to get out even though he was digging at the door trying to get in. So I have cat problems. Anyway, so this is just a little travel size of the lotion of the lemon pomegranate. It honestly smells like, um, I guess, yeah, lemon and pomegranate. It smells like fruit juice, so if you like tropically fruit juice smelling lemon pomegranate, whatever, you'd like it. It's not something that I would, like, die for, and I don't care that they stopped making it, I guess. Ignore my nails, by the way. They're, like, completely chipped. This is an Essie polish, and it, like, seriously, and now I'm showing you. It, like, chipped after, like, one day, which is pretty disappointing for Essie. This is that, like, um, just for the twill of it. It's supposed to be, like, a chameleon-colored one. It's actually not that pretty when you get it on, but anyway... Used up a travel size Sea Island Cotton Lotion. I love Sea Island Cotton. There's nothing bad I can say about that. I just love it. It's a classic good scent. Uh, coconut Mango. This was like old and starting to get like bad smelling. So I actually put this in this. Yeah, I don't know if I said, but this is a lotion. This was like from a couple years ago. I actually put this in my shower and would use it as like shave cream, whatever, because it started smelling... It smelled good in the bottle, but then when it got on my skin, it started smelling old, like it was going bad. Same thing with this, um, which I know it's pink from the like pink line, but I don't know if you guys ever remember, but they did used to sell like some of the pink stuff at Bath & Body Works. That's how old this is. And this was huge. This would sit by um, my bathroom sink, and I just wasn't using it for some reason, so I put it in my shower and used it um, for shaving as well. And it, it, it was um, the soft and dreamy one, and it does smell really good, but it started smelling old. I did really like it when it was, like, fresh smelling, though. I don't know if I'm going to be able to identify which wallflower bulbs are these ones, but I did do Seeds That Escape. It wasn't very strong. They never are, but I did like the scent, but I would not repurchase it. 
No way, no way. Um, used up a black cherry Merlot foaming soap. I love his scent. This is such a good scent. I bought two more of these recently um, when they had like their 250 soap sale, whatever. But then there was like a limit of 15, whatever. I bought some some more of these, like two more of these, because I love this scent. It's so good. I have one in the deep cleansing. Love it in the foaming. This is an amazing, amazing scent. It's really good. Definitely a repurchase, obviously, since I just repurchased it. Uh, Black Cherry Vanilla Body Cream. I believe there's a shower gel that goes with it. Honestly, um, like the shower gel was fine. It wasn't very strong scented. I do love this scent. Don't get me wrong. I love it. It's a classic Bath and Body Works scent. I think you can only buy it either at an outlet store or online, but I do really like the scent. But the shower gel was fine. A light, It's a light shower gel. It's not a light scent. It's not like a really strong one. But um, the body cream started smelling old, I guess. I don't know. I've just been really trying to use stuff up that like is more old. And I, I have so much stuff that I just, I, I'm finding that I'm not able to use it fast enough and it's going bad. So it's a little bit disappointing, but you know, what can you do except keep using it? Uh, I used up a brown sugar in fig. Oh, I would repurchase black, uh, black raspberry vanilla because I do really like the scent. Um, used up brown sugar and fig body cream, and I wonder if I have, I don't think I have a shower gel that went with it. Um, and this is just, this is a good scent. I think it's an online only slash outlet type thing. Um, one of their original classic scents. It's, it's a good scent, but I don't know. It was just, I didn't, I don't know. It's nothing like too crazy. Um, would I repurchase it? Yeah, because I like the scent. I used up a real rumberry glowing body scrub. Love this scent for the summertime. It's um, really good. I I do like the scrubs. I don't know like the glowing body scrub mixed with like a whatever. However they advertise the other body scrubs. I don't know what the difference is between them. I mean a scrub is a scrub, whatever. But I do like them. They go pretty quickly. You can use them up pretty quickly. I used up a coral reef soap. I don't know how to describe this um, scent. But um, it's kind of like tropical slash water scented with like coconut maybe in it. And so I used that up. I would repurchase that if they um, came out with that again. Hang on. Okay. Too many interruptions today. I also used up a Dancing Waters um, soap. This is, I don't, I don't know. I don't really know how to describe it. It's another one of those like um, cologne clean water, laundry, cotton type scents. There's like cat hair on it. And um, I don't know if I'd repurchase it again. Yeah, maybe, but they come out with a, like a lot of really good smelling soaps, so I don't know that I would necessarily like die to have it again. Um, I used up a mango mandarin shower gel and lotion, and um, this is part of their like classic line you know, that you can, I think, get, I don't know, I don't remember, did they bring this back in the stores and that's when I got it, or did I get it at the outlet or online? I can't remember. I think you can still buy it online, um, or at the outlet. Some people really like it. I mean, I like mango, so I got it, and it's just, to me, like a citrus scent, so nothing too crazy or spectacular. I used up Country Apple Shower Gel. This is just like a Bath and Body Works classic, super nostalgic, um, Easy to use, smell good, love it. Um, I think I can get it online whenever, so, um, you know, hopefully it never goes away, but I don't know. And then I have a white tea and ginger body lotion. I, I did like this when I first bought it, and then when I used it, I mean, I like it, but I don't know, I was going through this, like, herbal phase where I liked herbal and, like, tea-scented stuff and, like, this is kind of like a tea, but like a clean scent and like very classic clean soapy scent. And I, I, I do like it, but I think I have another one of these and I, I was kind of, kind of sick of it by the end. It was a little too perfumey scented toward the end. I used up a Twilight Woods uh, Shea Casimir hand cream. This is like super old packaging and I don't even know if they make Twilight Woods and like the Shea Cashmere hand creams at all anymore, but I use that up. They're not the most moisturizing thing ever, but they do make your hands feel a little silky, but they're not very moisturizing. And then I used up a little Beautiful Day, like EDT. This was like the preview thing um, that you got for like five bucks or whatever. I can't remember. I, I love this scent. This is a great scent. I have it in the perfume. I have the whole body, 
care routine. This is probably one of my favorite scents that they have. Beautiful Day, Pink Chiffon, Be Enchanted, um, Sea Island Cotton. I don't know. And then I have a bunch of these like wallflower bulbs. And like I said, I don't know. I think two of them are Seaside Escape. And I think the other one is this Sparkling Berries and Pears. And actually that one smells like Summer Boardwalk or something. I don't know. Honestly, like there's nothing for me really to say about the wallflower bulbs. They kind of suck and I'm not impressed with them ever. I'm literally just trying to use them up. If I can get like a really, really good deal on them, I'll buy more of them. But I just, I'm just kind of done with them. Like the plugins burn out and then they're useless. And then the scents only last for like a week or two and then I can't smell them anymore. And so they're not my favorite thing. Same with the car fresheners. Like they just suck too. They don't smell at all. So those are actually really disappointing Bath and Body Works products that I don't recommend buying at all. But everything else, um, yeah, everything else I love, obviously, since I'm a Bath and Body Works and scent junkie. Uh, so that's it for my empties for Bath and Body Works for a while. I'll start continuing, you know, building them up. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this and saw what I've used up, what I've liked, what I haven't, what I repurchase. Um, I hope it was helpful. Thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, I do have like an empties products outside of Bath and Body Works, like beauty products and whatever to film. Um, I still have to do my giveaway. I'm honestly like, this has just been like the craziest time of my life. So um, I apologize for that. But I'm just, I'm, I'm going through a lot of things and um, I'm not having like, I'm not having an easy go. I'm not having the, the easiest time right now in my life. And um, so just bear with me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking by my side. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. If you have any questions, leave them below. And um, yeah, again, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.